Proto.io offers a wide range of options to enhance the interactivity of your app. In this tutorial, we'll be creating buttons that add or subtract 1 on a range of 0 to 10. Step 1. Adding Elements Add two buttons and a text element to your canvas. These can be found in the UI panel. We've added a few extra elements to fill out our screen and add a bit of pizzazz. Double-click on each button to adjust its text to plus and minus. For the text, change it to zero. Step two, creating variables. Click on settings, then variable manager. Select create variable. For name, type range underscore var. For type, select numeric. For value, input zero. And enable evaluate. We'll be using this variable throughout the tutorial. Step three, creating a variation. Click on the plus button, then interactions and add interaction. For trigger, select tap. For action, select set variable. For variable name, select the variable that we just created, range underscore var. For value type, select custom value. For new value, press shift plus curly bracket to bring up all available va variables. Select range underscore var, and then type plus one at the end. You can leave delay. Okay, let's recap. The purpose of this interaction is to adjust the variable of the button, which by default is zero. When the button's tapped, that's the trigger, a new variable is created. That is the action. This variable is a new custom value, which is calculated by adding one to the value of the range underscore var. For example, if range underscore var is zero, the new value is one. Or if it's two, the new value is three. Step four, adding a callback. Click to add a callback. For action, select set variable. For variable name, select range underscore var. For value type, select custom value. For new value, enter the following JavaScript. Now without going into too much detail, here is what this means. If, which is the first question mark, the range var value is less than zero, then its value is zero. Otherwise, if the range var value is greater than 10, its value is 10. And if it's anything else, it's the value that it says it is, the range var value. Okay, let's recap. The purpose of this callback is to adjust the variable if it's below zero or above 10, since our scale does not exceed beyond zero and 10. Once the first interaction is complete, the second action begins. It sets a new variable, which is the action, for the variable range underscore var, which is the variable name. A custom value, which is the value type, is set, and it's based on the Java that we entered above, which is the new value. Hey, quick reminder, if you're finding this helpful, please give us a thumbs up. That would be incredible. All right, back to it. Step five, adding a callback. Click to add a second callback. For action, select change property. For screen, select your current screen. For number, select the text you added to the canvas. For property, select text. For value type, select read from variable. And for variable name, select range underscore var. All right, one last recap. Once the first callback is completed, a second callback automatically begins. This callback changes the property, which is the action, of the text that we added, which is the item. It changes the text, which is the property, based on what is read from the variable range underscore var, which is the variable name. Step six, adding an interaction to the minus button. Okay, click save interaction, right click on it and select copy. Then click on the minus button, interactions, 
and right click over add new interaction. Select paste. Open the interaction. The only element that needs to be changed is the new value. Change it from plus one to minus one. Step seven, the last step. Save the interaction, save the project, and preview. Now as you can see, when we click on the plus button, the number increases by one. And when we click on the minus, it decreases by one. Notice also that the range is 0 to 10. We're not allowed to go beyond this in either direction. And that's good. It means that our interactions and callbacks are working properly.